In your health headlines, sports broadcaster Erin Andrews revealed today she battled cervical cancer during the NFL season this year. The 38-year-old was diagnosed in September and had two surgeries, one in October and one in November. Her doctor says she is now clear and will not need chemotherapy or radiation, but will have a follow-up appointment this summer. The Fox 5 sideline reporter will be on the field for Super Bowl 51, Patriots versus Falcons right here on Fox 5. Now to talk more about cervical cancer and how someone so young might get the disease, Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD is here now to talk about it. Thanks for being here, Dr. G. Good to be here, Kathleen. Well, first, 13,000 women in America find themselves in Miss Andrews' shoes every year. What exactly is cervical cancer and how does it progress? The cervix is basically part of the uterus that goes into the vagina. And the way you get cancer most commonly is with something called a human papilloma virus infection. Now about 25% of everyone in this country is infected with that. And about 18 million teenagers every year get this infection. And of course it comes from sexual contact. So what happens is this virus actually infects the cells and causes them to become cancerous. Let's circle back to the HPV vaccine then because it doesn't come without controversy. First, do you recommend it and what else can you do to prevent cervical cancer if that's not the way to go? Well, physicians do not have a controversy about using the HPV vaccine and the American Academy of Pediatrics and almost all physician groups recommend that all teenagers over the age of 11 years old get the vaccine because what happens is if you get infected in your teenage years that's a fertile ground for the HPV virus to get uh, get on the cervix and cause cancerous changes and as we see the cancerous changes can occur in the very early 30s or older and so it's incredibly important to be vaccinated because there are absolutely positively no harmful effects whatsoever from the vaccination. Something else you can do is the pap smear test. Miss Andrews caught her cervical cancer very early because of one of those routine exams. There's been some changes in the recommendations on how often women should get them. Um, can you clear that up for us? Yes, well, any kind of cancer when caught early is curable and cervical cancer is over 99% curable if caught early. The recommendations is that all women over the age of 21 get a pap smear every three years and that continues until you're about every five, until you're about 65 and then you need to discuss it with your doctor. Now there's another test that tests specifically for the HPV virus and that should be done every five years. But pap smears are very, very easy. And you know, this hits home. My wife, who actually allowed me to say this on air, also developed HPV as a teenager and actually came down with cervical cancer last year. And it was caught by a routine pap smear and she is totally 100% cured be just like Erin was because the, the treatment of early stage cervical cancer is actually not that difficult. It's called a coloscopy. And what you do is you just remove that part of the cervix and if it's more severe, you do an entire hysterectomy and that affects an almost 100% cure. So I can't urge enough for women to always get a pap smear from the age of 21 up every three years. All right, Dr. G, and uh, we're so glad for your uh, wife's good health and for your family. Thank you for uh, your insight into cervical cancer. It's good to be here, Kathleen.